In this vlog, I'm going to explain why I cry every day. Hello everybody, it's Joe Ditzel. We're back with another vlog. And before we get into that, how are you doing? I hope everything is good in your world. Folks, do you know who Maureen McCormick is? Now, if you are youthful, if you are young, you may not be aware of who she is. She's currently a contestant on Dancing with the Stars. Now, I've seen that show maybe half of a show. So I'm not an expert on Dancing with the Stars. But let me give you a little background on Maureen McCormick. Uh, she, of course, was Marsha on The Brady Bunch, an iconic cornball sitcom that is much beloved by fans around the world. Again, if you're young, you may not be familiar with The Brady Bunch. So let me tell you a little bit about it. It's the story of a man named Brady. <laughs> I had to do it. So basically, this guy named Brady, he has three sons. He's single. He, he uh, meets this uh, single woman who he marries. She has three daughters. They all live together in this house. The three daughters and the three sons, the man, the wife, and their housekeeper, Alice. And I think there was a dog. But hijinks ensue. And the oldest daughter was Marcia Brady, played by Maureen McCormick. So now you know who she is. The story that I want to share with you is about how, on Dancing with the Stars, she cries all the time. She cries when she doesn't do well because she feels like she's disappointed people. And then she cries when she does well because of the emotional release. The gossip, the news around the Dancing with the Stars set is that she's constantly crying. And she's getting a lot of grief about this on social media. And, I, you know, who are they to cast aspersions on Marsha Brady? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And you may be thinking, well, he's only setting this up because now he's going to employ that legendary cynicism that has made him a worldwide comedy star, this Joe Ditzel. He's about to cut her down. He's about to make fun of her for crying and all the time. And I encourage you to have a more positive attitude. <laughs> Why would you think I, as a comedian, would want to make fun of Marsha Brady? Uh, it's, it's actually the opposite. I understand what she's going through because I cry every single day. I do. I cry all the time. For example, when I take the dog for a walk and I realize two blocks into the walk that I forgot the poop bags back at the house and I have to go back and drag the dog back, the dog who's been waiting all day to go out on a walk and then to go two blocks and have to drag him back, I sob. I sob when that happens, and the dog whimpers the whole time because he's like, why do we have to go back to the house? And even if you tell him, I forgot the poop bags, he doesn't understand. He just wants to get to the park so he can play with other dogs. That makes me cry. And even worse, when I remember the poop bags, and I know from experience that he poops on average two times per walk. So not only do I take two poop bags, I throw in a spare, a third poop bag. And that's the day that the dog has some kind of virus, so he ends up pooping four times, four times at the park. And that means that I am short one poop bag. And when that happens, I just start bawling. I just start bawling. It's like a faucet turns on. So I am not going to cast aspersions on Maureen McCormick for crying all the time because I do it every day. I, I Let me tell you something. When I go golfing and I have a simple 
straight uphill, three foot putt for birdie. Simple putt, straight and uphill. The simplest putt possible. And I leave it two inches short of the cup. I start wailing. I start wailing and gnashing my teeth. Let me say this. Have you ever gone to a Home Depot or a similar store and you just want something small? You just, you're doing a little fix-it project. You just need a couple of bolts. So you purchase two 27-cent bolts and they give you a receipt that is four inches wide and seven feet long. What are they printing on this receipt that it's so long? And then you try to stuff it in your wallet and you can't stuff it in your wallet or you get it in your wallet, but then you can't put your wallet in your pocket. That makes me cry. You know what makes me sob? When I go on my bike, when I go bike riding and I have my GoPro and I realize about half a mile from my house that I haven't put a micro SD card in the GoPro, yeah, you need that to record the video. So when you turn on the GoPro and then all of a sudden it turns itself off and you stop your bike and you're looking at it, you're like, what the hell? And it says, no SD card. When that happens, I start to blubber. I start to blubber like a little kid. Yeah, yeah, it happens every day. I mean, I cry on a daily basis, two, three, four, seven times a day. And you're saying, what are you crying about? What are you crying about? Here's what I cry about. This makes me cry every single time. When I'm reading my smartphone in bed and I'm holding it with one hand and all of a sudden, somehow, some force of nature makes it bobble in my hand and it falls on my face injuring my face that makes me break into tears <laughs> that makes me cry every time you know what makes me cry when someone on facebook asked me to copy and paste some political screed that someone else asked them to copy and paste and that's all they want me to do is copy and paste and share if i agree if you agree copy and paste and share well no I may or may not agree, but I don't copy and paste stuff and share. That's the lamest thing I can ever think of. That makes me wail. That makes me howl. That makes me break down into tears. You know what made me cry the other day? I tried to make a baked taco salad and it came out looking like burnt pieces of rubber tires. It was inedible and I just started breaking down right there in the kitchen, weeping. I was weeping. My tears were falling onto the burnt baked taco salad that looked like shredded rubber tires. It was bad. And you know what makes me cry? I've told thousands and thousands of jokes in my lifetime. I started doing stand-up comedy in the 80s. I've been on stage thousands of times and I've told tens of thousands of jokes. You know what makes me cry? When I try to tell a dumb street joke to my friend and I can't remember how it goes. I can't remember how it starts even. I'll say, okay. So yeah, there's a cowboy, a uh, minister and uh, Arnold Palmer. Yeah, a cowboy, a minister and Arnold Palmer walk into a bar. Wait, 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 that's not it, that's not it. It's a minister, a, uh, it, it's a minister, a zookeeper and a gorilla walk into a bar. No, wait, 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 wait. And this goes on and on until my friend just walks away. He just walks away and, and leaves, leaves wherever we are, gets in his car and drives home. He's like, I can't take it. I can't take it. When that happens, you know what I do? I start crying. I start crying. How come I can't remember this stupid joke? How come I can't remember? And then people, other people in the restaurant or wherever we are, you know, are looking at me like, wow, that guy is really sad. That really guy, that guy, I don't know what's wrong with that guy. But just by looking at him, you can see he's got a lot of problems. So, Marsha, 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 I'm on your side. I'm on Team Marsha. I don't agree with this grief that people on social media are giving you because I understand why you cry all the time because I do it myself.
Folks, that's all I've got for now. Until next time, we'll see you then. You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to go have a good cry about this vlog. This vlog was horrible and I hate it. And it makes me want to break down crying. I hate this vlog. I hate it. It didn't turn out like I thought. I thought I would experience more of an emotional release that would make me happy, but it didn't. It made things worse. What am I going to do?